Hey, hey, FL teams, Jeff McAlino here for the Game 2 Lightning Maple Leafs reaction. It's not much to it, <laughs> frankly. I'm not going to waste a lot of time. The Lightning lose 7-2. to two. Hey, make sure you're following FL teams and subscribed on YouTube here so you can get not only the Lightning reactions, but Dale Lowe doing the great Florida Panthers reaction. Their series is tied 1-1 against Boston as well. The winners of these two series play each other. Uh, look, there was no Hedman, no Chernak tonight. Essamont's also out. But uh, Janot returned to the lineup way earlier than I think we all thought possible. I, I think it, it, being down Hedman and Chernak affected things a little bit. But Bogosian played pretty well. I, I you know, I, I was going to say I'll, I'll look at the film afterwards, but I don't really want to. Uh <laughs> I didn't see Flurry out there a lot until later in the game, honestly. Um, but look, I'm sure they were a lot of unchecked blue jerseys in front of the net today. Things just got it off to a bad start. An awful turnover in the defensive zone by Kalorn. Uh, Ian Cole, I believe it was, had, really had no choice but to trip the guy or he would have had a goal. Uh, and then a real soft power play goal allowed by, by Vasilevsky. Um, the Lightning had a couple power plays there, and, and, you know, the second one especially had some, some chances, didn't get through. Um, I think Samsonov played a much better game than in game one. Uh, Tavares got a hat trick. His, his first goal of this game was just a brilliant shot. I mean, that one, just tip your cap to the guy. Um, not many fans in Toronto have hats left. They spent about 32 minutes throwing them on the ice. Um... And then Nylander, uh, he scored the third goal in the first period, which was probably the worst one Vassy gave up. This was a really poor game for Andre Vasilevsky. Um, two of those three goals should be stopped at all times. The Lightning sort of made things interesting when Ian Cole scored a very pretty backhand goal on a fantastic pass by Stamkos. Uh, right when I was writing in my notebooks at Samsonov, Deserves kudos because he's really stepped up his game. He gives up a goal. Uh, but then Toronto goes and just goes on a rampage. And, and at one point in the second period, the great Brian Engblom, Eng, you know who I'm saying, Engblom said, right now, Toronto's doing everything right and everything the Lightning do is turning out to be wrong. That's all it was. Toronto was hungrier off the jump. They played better. They won the game, you know. They needed to win the game. They, you can't go down 0-2 starting a series at home. So, not really a shock. Uh, I did like the third period. Uh, the score ended up 1-1 in that period. Janot and Luke Shen got into a heavyweight battle that left Luke Shen bloodied. Corey Perry scored a goal and then it seemed like a few seconds later was getting in his own fight. He got misconduct. Maroon, then the refs really kind of tried to just, they just started getting everyone out of, <laughs> off the ice. Maroon, I'm still not sure how he got called for an interference penalty. Then he mouthed off to the ref, got ejected. Uh, the Toronto scored, uh, I think it was a, it was five on three at one point and they scored seconds after it turned into a five on four, uh, to make it seven to two. Uh, look, I like the fight the Lightning showed there in the third period. Um, that, you know, <sighs> They they kept some intensity going. They kept a lot of fight going, especially Corey Perry, Taylor Janot, uh, Pat Maroon, Pierre Edward Belmar had the assist on Perry's goal. He's had a good series so far. Uh, that that really the, the fourth lines had a good line. And look, Stamkos, Point, and Kucherov in the first couple periods were having some really sustained pressure, even handed and on the power play. They just couldn't get it in. You know, again, Samsonov gave up a lot of fat rebounds in Game One. Toronto did a much better job getting in front of the net in game two than they did in game one. It was almost like an exact reversal of the game one. So, you know, look, two teams, they don't like each other. There's going to be a lot of fisticuffs to come. The Lightning come back to Tampa Saturday. They're not going to be concerned. Hopefully, Victor Hedman was a game-time decision today. Hopefully, he's good to go for game three. I think that will make a big difference. Um, and look, we got ourselves a series now, 1-1. Uh, make sure you're subscribed to FL Team so you get the post-game reaction for all the Lightning and the Panthers NHL playoff games. See you Saturday.